The Character Generator app by Tom Cranston is a companion that will assist many aspects of Virtual True Dungeon. It's not designed solely for Virtual True Dungeon, so there are some parts we won't use, but this will act as a guide to get your character set up for your Virtual True Dungeon run. To install the app, search on either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store for True Dungeon Character Generator. The icon for the app looks like this. Here I am using the Android platform. The app is free and is a very small download. As well as running on Android or iPhone, you can run it on desktop using software at bluestacks.com. When you first open the app, you will see this screen. Virtual True Dungeon will allow you to use characters with a pre-generated set of virtual tokens if desired, so you don't have to have any extra tokens. However, we will show you how to add actual tokens later. Setting up characters is pretty much the same no matter what class you use. So for this example, we will use an elf wizard. You can set up multiple characters in the app for later use. And on this first screen, you have options to add a character, delete a character, or clone an existing character. As we don't have anything set up, let's press plus and add a character. We will disregard the import and party card options at the top of this next screen, as they are not needed for Virtual True Dungeon. Press the drop down box and select your class. We'll pick Elf Wizard. Now, if you want to use the pre-generated version with added virtual tokens, press Pre-Generate Elf Wizard. This will take you back to the previous screen with an Elf Wizard in your list of characters. If you wanted to start from scratch with no equipment at all and add all your own tokens later, you would simply press Done after selecting the class. Press the Elf Wizard and press Edit. You now see your list of equipped items for your character. Pressing on any of these items will bring up the equipping screen for that slot. If you press the drop down box, you can change the item for any valid piece of equipment available in the True Dungeon library. Bear in mind if you do so, you will need to prove that you own that token during your run by showing the physical token to the DM via a webcam. You can also press one of the options above the drop down to show only the selected rarity of token and above, so you don't have to scroll through so many items when selecting. Once you've finished editing all of your equipment, press Done. You could clone this character by making a second version if you desired, by selecting the character and pressing Clone, or create more characters if you wish. But we're ready to play, so let's take our Elf Wizard in. Select your character and press Edit. Now press Stats. You have three pages of stats to look through to familiarise yourself with your character. When you're ready, go back to page one of your stats and select the option Virtual TD. You are now in the live run environment. The first screen will show you where you could make rolls and if you scroll down, you will see any available spells. The amount of each spell you have is shown by squares. Pressing consumables at the top of the screen gives you a list of those that you have available. Pressing cancel gets you back to your main live screen. Do not press epilogue until you have finished the adventure entirely. Pressing on any of the spells at the bottom of the screen allows you to see their potential effects. Here you can either press cast to use that spell or cancel to go back to the main screen. If you cast a spell, you will see that when you return to the main screen, one of the boxes will have been replaced by a check mark. Once you have used all instances of that spell, you will no longer be able to use it or go back to its description screen. When doing one of the many throws required during the game, press whichever button is required. Melee, ranged, saving throw, polymorph attack or a simple d20 roll. The app adds in any bonuses from your tokens and tells you the result. The number in parentheses tells you the number you naturally rolled while the number to its left is the modified result with all your bonuses factored in. Compare this to the armor class number provided by the DM, and if your modified number is equal to or greater than the monster's AC number, your character has hit. You can then tell the DM when asked that you hit for a certain amount of damage shown below in damage. Bear in mind it will also show crits if you rolled a natural 20. Saving throws work in a similar way. As mentioned before, don't forget you have your consumables available to boost your attacks. If you are injured or receive more health, 
Press the drop down for your health points and adjust the number accordingly. One more thing to add. If you have a bard in your party and they decide to use their power on a round, press bard song at the top, choose their level, their instrument, and press use to add the bonus to your abilities that round. Remember once you are done to press bard song again, then press no bard and use to return to normal. Continue through your adventure and once you are finished completely, press epilogue and your final stats will be revealed. After you are finished in epilogue, press done twice and you will return to your main character selection screen. Although you don't have to use it, this app should make your virtual true dungeon experience much easier. Enjoy your adventure, have fun, and thanks for playing Virtual True Dungeon.